Thomas Brown, welcome to Radio Free. You are here to talk about the March event. Now, we've been partnering with Chris Cawthon and uh, the March guys for a while. It's always exciting when these events come around. Um, this one is especially exciting. There's something bigger happening yeah. here. Um, and we're going to talk about that in a minute. But if you will, just for people who aren't familiar with March, talk a little bit about what it is and uh, you know what's the mission of that group. Yeah, yeah. So um, we we like to say March is not a ministry; it's not a business. Um, and again, if anybody knows Chris Cawthon, it's kind of um, been something that God's put on his heart. And then over the years, he's kind of brought guys into the into the fold, and um, uh, and I'm part of that group. So I guess I uh, I kind of lean a little bit more into the discipleship end of things. We do monthly Bible studies. We do. Um, a lot of Facebook content, you know, getting information out there and really more or less just, you know, providing a little bit of a guide for men in, in all these different areas of uh, their life. You know, so whether it's um, finances, it could be, you know, leading your family, it could be leading your spouse, it could be, you know, community service, it could be anything. Um, and I think, you know, it's really started more or less with these events where we would have some keynote speakers come in. The last one that we did was March of twenty. 20, actually. It was the week before everything kind of kicked off with the pandemic. <laughs> and we've been t- having lots of conversations about what we should do and should it be virtual and et cetera, et cetera. But we have, a, you know, we have an event coming up here real soon that we're really excited about. All right. So it's a men's ministry, mm-hmm. just to kind of put it simply. Yeah. But I wrote down the little tagline that I, that <laughs> I saw on the, on the site, fight the good fight, your everyday matters. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Um, and especially when you put that together with men, um, I think there is a uh, sometimes a, a lack of understanding of that very thing. Like mm-hmm. you just go through your life, you're doing your work, you're tired all the time, but you guys are trying to inject some meaning into that. Yeah. Um, tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, for sure. Um, so one of the things, too, we like to talk about with March is that it marches a choice, that every day we're given a choice, right? We can be passive or we can be active, right? We can we can just kind of go with the flow or we can be really intentional. And that is one of the things that we try to do. We try to live that, number one, to model it, but right. we also try to um, kind of spur guys along a little bit. So we have a, a monthly newsletter we send out. We call it the March Need to Know. So if you're on an email list, you'll get it. And uh, we tend to give some specific dates, like yesterday was International dog day. Yeah, so, you know, hey, we wanted to remind people before that day got here that, hey, listen, take a picture with your dog or whatever. Um, but we do all kind of stuff. Hot dog day, you know, take your kids out to pizza day, you know, so we'll, we'll give a little bit of um, information out there in that. But also we, we have an adventure every month. So like, for example, in July, we had this conversation around how many of us go to a fireworks show or we put one on for our family. So our, we kind of spurred the men along to say, hey, listen, you should, you know, go buy some fireworks um, you know, we went and spoke to one of the firework stands that's, I guess, ran by Effingham Church of God. And we're like, hey, listen, could we put together a March bundle and, uh, you know, put some fireworks together and folks could go up there and get it. And, you know, every month, really every day gives us an opportunity to be intentional with our time. And we, we part of March, what we try to do is just um, put that front and center in front of guys so that, you know, life doesn't get in the way and we just kind of fall into the rut. I mean, I hope, I hope that's not lost on people, what you're doing. It's so so special because yeah. I think probably most men would say, I want to be that way, but it's hard to find resources and help. Sounds like that's exactly what you guys are doing. Yeah. Like, here's some stuff, and we're going to give you a little package of things you can do to be yeah. intentional on a daily basis. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. there's plenty of toolkits out there. There's plenty of resources out there. You know, this is uh, somewhat homegrown, I will say. Um, we pull a lot in that we... Uh, in our personal walk, you know, things and resources that we use, books that we're reading, you know. So er, if you follow our Facebook page every day, I think except for Sunday, we make a post. And some days it's really good, intentional things. Other days it's like, hey, you know, it's raining outside. Don't forget it. You know, put an umbrella in your wife's car. Right. You know, so some some days it's fun. Some days it's challenging. Um, but it's, it's pretty much us and whatever we have going on um, is what we, we kind of put out there. And again, just to double down on that, you said, Put an umbrella in your wife's car. This, the, the <laughs> posture of this is to serve that's right. your family, and that's that's so special. Well, yeah. speaking of serving family, um, the speaker for this event coming up in September is Dean Lizabee. Mm-hmm. 
who has been serving his family in a huge way. Um, can you talk about Dean and what's going on? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, for anybody that does not know Dean Lizenby, he's a big part of our community. Um, I get a chance to work with him professionally um, and also just have gotten to know him uh, over the last you know two and a half years that we've been moved back to, to Florence here. Um, and Dean is uh, just just a phenomenal man of God, you know, leading his family, um, you know, with, with really obedience. And, you know, he walked through a pretty um, challenging, uh, you know, health struggle with his teenage son. And, you know, he got people praying. And I think I remember his first, his first you know, Facebook statement was like, if I could have a million people praying for my son right now, I'd ask for a million more. I'd ask for more, something along those lines. And, um, you know, we followed him through all that. And um, he's got a really, um, really great story of, you know, of his faith and how he had to, you know, lean into God through that process. And um, he's going to share that um, with all, all of our our community of March. And I think he wants to share that with anyone he can share it with. So we're going to give him a chance to do that with March. Um, and we typically have a few keynote speakers in an event. Uh, this event is just for Dean to share that story. Uh, we're hoping, I believe, he's going to try to get his son trip there really? as well. So, uh, you know, we're going to be over at, at his home church, which is Ebenezer uh, Baptist Church. Um, so we're, we're looking forward to having Dean, you know, share with us. And I think, you know, I think he's looking forward to sharing the gospel, you know, that, that he will always point it back to that. And that's one of the things that excited me when I talked to him about asking him would he do it, yeah. and um, you know, he's more than willing to do it. So, yeah. Well, before we got rolling, we were talking about Dean, and, and you had mentioned that if your child had gotten sick like this, that you would have a tendency to just kind of shut down, shut the world out, and just hunker yeah. down, do the thing. And I, I can say the same. <laughs> I think it would be hard to, to not do that. But Dean took it as, just like we were talking about before, as an opportunity to serve. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's serving his family first, of course, right. but he's serving other believers, other people in the community by being an, uh, an absolute stellar example of, of how to lead his family. Yeah. Um, and, and, you know, people need to come to see <laughs> and get the details, of course, but talk a little bit about Trip and what he went through and kind of what, what's going on today. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, you know, Trip, um, you go back to, you know, the beginning of, um, you know, beginning of the 2020 and, you um, you know, got got really sick, had been really sick kind of over the New Year's holiday. And, you know, they um, went to the doctor and, you know, they ended up flying him down to Charleston, I think, same day. And, and eventually he, had, he they had a brain tumor. And, um, and, and again, you know, not to take away from, from Dean's story, um, but he immediately went to as many people as he could possibly get to pray he wanted. And that grew into a enormous community of people, and Dean has all the stats on how many states and how many countries uh, were following this Prayers for Trip page, and um, ended up um, getting to St. Jude at some point, many trips back and forth to St. Jude, probably living in St. Jude for a while, and, you know, Dean has a dollar amount that he feels like St. Jude has uh, spent, you know, and and St. Jude's great organization, obviously, um, you know, but he has a dollar amount that he says, hey, St. Jude spent this much money. Um, to cure his son, essentially, his son has been cleared of cancer at this at this moment, That's and amazing. and Dean's whole message going forward, it's been his message about faith and obedience and leadership, in my opinion, through all of it. Now he's getting an opportunity on the on this side of it to say, "Hey, there's there's still sick kids, and they and you know they got to they got to be a part of that at St. Jude. They got to see some kids who didn't get to tell the story that Trip right. got to tell. Right. And uh, I think his mission going forward is is he wants to pay every dollar back." to wow. St. Jude uh, through a fund. And, um, you know, we want to help him get that word out. Um, but I think in all of that, as I shared a second ago, is is his opportunity to share the gospel, you know, what he learned, what he saw through that. Um, very open. Uh, some of their posts, if you go back through and read the Prayers for Trip posts, very open, very specific, um, very detailed. And, you know, many people, me included, would not have been so open about what we I'm feeling right now for the whole wide world to see, um, but you know as I've gotten to know Dean better, that's that's how he's lived the, how he lives yeah. his life. You know, it's you know walking by faith. That kind of transparency yeah. is startling and so needed at yeah. the same time. Yeah. You know, so true. Well, let's talk about the event itself because mm-hmm. I think we've hopefully we've piqued the curiosity of whoever's watching <laughs> because it's going to be a big night and an emotional night, but also I feel like people are going to walk away with hope. Yep. And so let's talk about the details. Yep. When, where, 
all that stuff. Yeah, it's going to be um, September 9th. Um, it's going to be at Ebenezer Church, and there, there's a youth building, uh, their student building or whatever right there across from Ebenezer Park, essentially. And uh, that's where we're planning on um, hosting the event. Uh, it's really going to kick off around 7 o'clock. We're planning on running it till 8.30. Um, and it could go longer than that, but we're going to have a little bit of uh, probably 30 or so minutes before um, beforehand, 7 to 7.30. We'll have some uh, fun stuff going on. So we've got some uh, axe throwing in the parking lot, which will be an uh, axe throwing trailer will be there. And we'll have um, uh, some some food and uh, just some you know refreshments for people to kind of come together and and socialize a little bit as safe as possible, you know, so uh, folks need to feel like they need to wear a mask, you know, wear a mask, et cetera. You know, we'll follow all those guidelines, you know. A lot could change in between now and September yeah. 9th. Yeah, but, sure. you know, we're planning on doing that on, on that day. And, um, and and like I said a second ago, Dean will be our, our really our only speaker. So he'll he'll go on somewhere between 7.30, 7.45, and we'll run all the way till we get done. And then we'll wrap up at the end. Chris does a really good job of kind of wrapping it up at the end. You know, we always say that, you know, our events are free, but we do want people um, to, to give back to the community. So we've given, you know, any money we've raised in the past, we've given money to uh, BCM. We don't make money. Everything we yeah, do, yeah. you know, everything we do goes somewhere else. You know, we've given money to Tenacious Grace. And what we're asking people to do here is is to consider uh, donating money to uh, the Trip Lisbonby uh, Research Fund. Um, and that's the fund you were talking about before this, that's paying right. back. That's paying back. Jude. It's paying wow. back. That's that's Dean's goal is to pay back every dollar that St. Jude. And he said maybe he doesn't do that in his lifetime, but that fund will. You know, so I don't want to take away his thunder, but um, you know, I think that's that's really cool. Um, really cool to be able to do. So we're looking forward to giving him the opportunity to share that. And uh, you know, as many guys that show up will be there. Um, you know, we still, you know, we've got a planning meeting right after this with today to, to make sure that we have everything nailed down. But, you know, we're just going to we're just trusting God that he'll bring as many guys that need to be there there and um, and that we can continue to get that word out. And, and Dean's a really good example of a man that's leading his family. Mm. Yeah. All right. Well, again, that's the March yep. uh, Dean Lisenby event. That's right. Uh, that's right. happens Thursday, September the 9th, 7 to 830 Ebenezer Baptist Church. And again, that's right across from Ebenezer Park. That's right. Easy to find. Mm -hmm. It's a nice building. Yep. Um, it's going to be a good time. And w like you said, we're encouraging all men to be a part of this. Yep. E even if you don't feel like you're a part of a group of guys, <laughs> that's right. come be a part yeah. of this group of guys and, yep. and get plugged in and and listen and be inspired. Yeah. Um, again, thank you so much, Thomas Brown, for being yeah. here today. Yeah, and thanks, thank you for being a part of March. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. <laughs>